Hi guys, welcome in or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kimberly Elise and today's video is going to be a Q&A over what I'm doing to deal with my scarring alopecia. I have about eight of my most asked questions that I'm going to answer in this video. So if you're dealing with scarring alopecia and don't know where to start, stay tuned and keep watching. <music> Hey guys, the first question that I get asked a lot is what type of alopecia do I have? I have CCCA alopecia, also known as scarring alopecia. With this type of alopecia, it caused the layer on the scalp to scar, which could cause the hair not to grow back in certain situations. The second question that I get asked a lot is how did I find out that I had scarring alopecia? And basically I went through a period of time where I was getting braids off and on. I would go back and forth to the Africans to get my hair braided. During that time, I wanted something easier for me to do so that I wouldn't have to do my hair every day. And the braids was what I chose. After taking those braids out, I noticed that the top of my scalp and the crown was much thinner. So I went through about six to eight months of me getting those braids off and on. I would take them out you know, wash and deep condition my hair and immediately after go back and get them redone. So after about eight months of doing that, after I took them out for the last time, I noticed that in my crown, it was very thin. It was thinner than what it was before I had started getting the braids. So yeah, that's how I found out that something was wrong. Which brings me to my third question is, have I seen a doctor? And yes, I've seen two doctors. The first doctor that I went to basically looked at my scalp told me it was scarring alopecia to use Rogaine and basically sent me on my way. So I had to go home and do a little research on my own because I didn't feel right about how that appointment went. I felt like that there was something else that maybe he could have offered that he didn't. So I made another appointment with a different doctor and this is where the treatment actually began. With this doctor, she prescribed Rogaine, but it was a compounded Rogaine that included azelaic acid, finasteride, and some other ingredients that is known for helping scarring alopecia grow back. She also started a series of steroid injections. So I would go back every two to three months to get the steroid injections in my scalp. I would use the compounded Rogaine, and she also told me to pay attention to my diet, and she recommended hair vitamin that I would take every day. I also did some research on my own and I found out that scarring alopecia can be caused by inflammation in the body. Scarring alopecia is an autoimmune disorder that can be caused by inflammation in the body. So I started taking turmeric, which is known to help with inflammation in the body. I also started to take pumpkin seed oil and saw palmetto, which is known to help block some of the DHT, which causes the hair to fall out when you have alopecia. So yeah, that's what I'm doing so far to combat the alopecia. The next question is how am I combating my alopecia? And like I said in my previous answer, I basically do what the doctor told me to do. I go back and get my steroid shots. I use the compounded Rogaine and I take the vitamins that the doctor recommended. I'll take the turmeric, the saw palmetto and the pumpkin seed oil. I did notice a big difference after starting to take those vitamins. I want to say about maybe two to three months, my hair started to thicken up considerably. I did notice in certain areas where there was no hair, the hair started to grow back. So the vitamins did help considerably. Um, the injections did help some too, but I would give most credit to these vitamins that I've been taking because after that is when I saw the most difference. The next question that I get asked a lot is about my confidence and how has my confidence changed since knowing that I had scarring alopecia. In the beginning, I will say I was a bit bummed about noticing that my hair had been thinning and seeing that my hair was coming out, but I wouldn't say my confidence levels dropped. I would say that I wanted to do something about it. So um, no, if I had to cut my hair off today, like literally go bald, I would do it and be completely fine. Um, I would put my makeup on, put my earrings on and let it do what it do. You know, you just, you just keep it going. So no, I don't think it lowered my confidence. Um, 
I don't find that I find all my beauty within my hair. My hair doesn't define me. It's like an accessory to me. I like the option of being able to change my hair, wear different styles, but it definitely doesn't define who I am. I, if I had to go bald, I would go bald and be completely fine. So yeah, I don't, I don't think that it changed my confidence levels in any way. The next question is, what are my goals for my hair? Now that I, my hair has started to grow back in, I do feel like I can get my hair back to the fullness that it used to be before I found out that I had alopecia. So for right now, I think I just want to let my hair continue to grow out. I've worn my hair short for many, many years now, so having a short cut is nothing to me. It's nothing for me to go to a salon or pick up some clippers and cut my hair completely short. Um, I do, however, want to let my hair grow out into its taper cut. I'm used to wearing my natural hair in a tapered style, so I really want it to get back top heavy and kind of lower on the sides. So yeah, that's my goal for right now is to just make sure that my scalp is healthy. I want to let it grow out as well. And last but not least, the last question is, do I have any advice for those who are dealing with scarring alopecia? And yes, I would say go see a doctor. Um, if you get a doctor who's not willing to help you, make an appointment to go see a different doctor because there is something that can be done about scarring alopecia. I don't feel like a complete promise can be made in the beginning because in certain situations with scarring alopecia in certain areas the hair won't grow back but in my situation I got a lot of my hair back and if I had listened to the first doctor that I went to the entire crown of my head would be completely bald right now so yeah my number one advice would be to go see a doctor follow those doctors orders do some research because there are vitamins and supplements that you can take to help with your diet to also help their hair to grow back so yeah that would be my number one advice is to go see a doctor and follow the doctor's orders if that doctor is not willing to help you continue your research and find a doctor that will okay guys so that is it for the q a for today if you found this content helpful please comment down below like this video subscribe and hit that bell notification on your way out that's all i got for you today guys until next time